All right, over on the uh, Microsoft Teams subreddit, I saw a post this morning where someone has uh, a challenge. They've got a Microsoft Teams live event that uh, they need to share the audio from the presenter into the live event so that they can play a video like in PowerPoint or something like that. And um, I thought that I would show how I've figured this out still using Teams encoding. I uh, came in this morning and I happen to have the hardware to be able to accomplish this. So I wanted to walk through how I got that figured out because in a Microsoft Teams live event, unfortunately there's not the checkbox yet for share system audio. So when you share your screen into the Teams live event as a presenter, you can't just share your audio as well. Um, this was news to me. I thought that checkbox was there, but unfortunately not yet. So. Let's take a look at how we can work around that. So I'm recording my laptop screen. This is my MacBook Pro. This is going to be the producer right here. And I've got it up on my screen, the setting. So I've just got testing audio capture. I've got my other account, my admin account. That is going to be a presenter. And my main account is the producer. If I go into the settings, this is an org wide event. The person said that it was a, an internal event. So we're just going org wide. Everybody in the company can view it. And I've just turned on all of the options here. I've got the captions and q and A. I'm gonna go ahead and join this live event as a producer. So I'm gonna click join. This is gonna come up. I'm gonna leave everything muted, no microphone, no video or anything like that, and hit join now. That will get the, uh, the live event um, stood up as a producer. Now, over on the presenter side, I'm gonna turn my camera, the Dell laptop here, I'll turn down the aperture. And if I go here to testing audio capture, I'm going to join as the presenter. And let's go ahead and have video camera and microphone through here. So that's joining. And I'm basically in a meeting as the, uh, the presenter here. And um, the way that we're going to accomplish this, the way that we're going to do this is with an HDMI capture device. So the one that I am using is called a, um, a Magewell USB capture HDMI Gen 2. And basically it takes an HDMI feed, converts it to USB and comes into the other device. Um, there's a few other devices out there whenever I post this on Reddit as a reply, um, I'm gonna give you three options. There's the Magewell, which works really well. It's, it's basically like the gold standard for something like this. Um, unfortunately, it's pretty expensive, it's $300. So there's, there's a bit of a price barrier for that. A cheaper option is by Elgato, and that's a, uh, a cam link. I actually have one of those on its way from B&H Photo to start testing that out. And that's uh, a little USB dongle that has a male USB-A on one end and a uh, female full-size HDMI on the other end. So you just plug that in, plug it into the laptop and go. And there's also a uh, Elgato HD60S and I believe it's called the Plus model. There's a regular S model, which is like $125, $150. And um, that one works if you're on Windows because it installs some drivers and stuff like that. And then I think it shows up as a, as a webcam but you would want to go for the plus model, which is like $200, um, because that uses a, uh, a protocol or codec or whatever it is called UVC, which is a, a universal video capture, I think is what it stands for. And basically what that does is the device shows up, whether it's on a Mac or a PC, it shows up as a webcam. And you wanna use that as a webcam um, into your team's live event. So. Everything's all connected here. I'm gonna show what this looks like um, physically on the desk, and then we'll talk about the uh, team's producer settings here. So let's turn the camera around here, and we've got the presenter's laptop. You'll see it's got HDMI right here um, running out. So you got the HDMI coming out to this guy. This is that Magewell USB HDMI capture device. So I've got HDMI here. That's coming to USB. And then USB is coming on through here to the MacBook Pro. So there's that 
setup here. I've got the, the laptop from the presenter running through to the producer. So now let's set this guy back down and um, go through the settings on the live event here. So as a producer, I can um, see the presenters down here at the bottom. I see the laptop uh, webcam here down at the bottom. If I click on that, that's gonna show the laptop webcam. So I've got the webcam and the audio coming through. So that's gonna be the video component and the audio component. If you're using like an external microphone, you would want to plug that into the presenter's laptop so that the audio comes from the presenter into the team meeting, the live event. Then over here, I've got you, me, that's the producer side of it right here. And you'll see that I'm not sharing anything. Well, I do want to actually share some content. So I'm going to go up here to my device settings and I want to make sure that my microphone is set to the USB capture device. That's that Magewell capture device. And the camera is also set to the HDMI capture device. So now, rather than the presenter sharing their screen into Microsoft Teams, what we're gonna do is under the producer, I'm going to enable my video, and you'll see it does this crazy mirror effect, but you'll see here that it does the laptop screen comes up. So there's the laptop screen with the background. And if I click on that, now I've switched over from the video camera to the, um, the laptop screen. And then if I want to share the audio from the laptop, all I gotta do is unmute the producer's microphone. And now I've got the USB capture device for the video as well as the audio. So we're gonna go ahead and send this live and then start our live event right here continue and now in a couple seconds I should be actually live with my uh, with my presentation here and I'm showing the video and audio from the laptop but also the audio from the presenters laptop is for like the voice you know so the talking is coming through the microphone on the uh, Dell laptop but the audio the system audio is coming through that HDMI capture device so what we'll do is we'll just pop open, here's like a random YouTube video that was up on the homepage of YouTube. And if I click on that, then it should be playing the audio from the laptop on through, but you also should be able to hear me talking as well. And that's all there is to it. So um, that's the setup here. The limitations for this is that you don't get that split side-by-side -side view. So if I wanted to have the video of the person in the room and their laptop, I can't do that because the laptop is coming through as a webcam video source. So you don't get that side-by-side -side split, but it does get around the fact that you can have the audio coming into the, uh, the device. Okay, fast forward a little bit. I forgot to uh, download the recording so you can see how it sounds and prove that the, uh, the audio came through. So. I've gone into the, uh, the resources section, so I open up the event and hit refresh. So the recording is right there, and I've already pre-downloaded that. So we're gonna open this up in QuickTime, and I've got my headphones on, I'm gonna listen to it through, and um, make sure that that YouTube video clip audio came through. <laughs> So there we go. I can hear the audio from that YouTube clip. You can hear the Mentos being poured into the thing. And um, that's that. So I got audio capture through into the device as well as the um, audio from the microphone on the laptop. So I hope that helps out. And um, let me know if you have any questions, any other scenarios that you want me to test. I'm, I'm happy to do so uh, as I'm able to.